Hi there, everybody. You know, usually when I eat comfort food, I want a huge dish, but today we are going mini with that. We're joined by uh, Diane Souther from Apple Hill Farm. I thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Great. So what are we making? We're going to do some little mini individual meatloafs. Mini meatloafs. Yep, and okay. we're going to start with local meat. Now you can use anything in this as long as it's a ground beef. We can use beef, we can use pork, you can use venison, Okay. whatever you want. Flexible. And find the farmer's market, find where there's a meat producer there with ground meat, and you're going to start. So this one calls for two pounds, which is a big batch, but you can do them and freeze them, which is really nice. Okay. So we're going to start with two pounds of the ground meat. Because I'm an apple grower, we're going to add a couple of apples add cut up and apple diced. We add some look for the local to it ones, there. exactly. Then we're going to add one egg that's been beaten slightly. For a little bit of crunch, we're going to add a third of a cup of celery, about a third of a cup of cut onions. I use some nice red it. onions. Yeah. And then we're going to add a cup of breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And that will help hold it yeah. together. Because when you buy local, sometimes the meat is nice and fresh. And because it's fresh, it's very lean. So yeah. you add something to bind it together. A little glue in there. Okay. And then the best thing to do is get your fingers right in it. You can get the kids to help on this. Mix it up. We're going to add a little bit of cheese. Okay. I took some of Harmon's sharp cheddar cheese and chunked it up. Oh, nice. So we have about a half a cup of that, a half a cup of maple syrup to help bind it together too. This just sounds downright good. Okay. And one cup of whole milk. Add that to the mixture. And like I said, this is a nice, messy job. <laughs> but you stir it all up together. And I like to use my hands because you can really blend it well. You can use a big spoon and a big bowl. Sure, okay. But I like to mix it up with my hands. It, it just kind of gets it right in there. And once you have it all blended together and the bread comes start to bind it up a little bit, we're going to form it into little loaves. Now you want to keep them about a quarter pound size. So think about of a quarter pound of hamburg when okay. you make a hamburger patty. About a hamburg size. Right? And you make it into kind of a loaf size and you're going to put it in a greased baking dish that can go in the oven. And if you're using two pounds, you're going to get eight to nine of these depending on the size. Got it. Try to keep them uniform so when you bake them, they take the same baking time. But you pop them in the oven, bake them for 350 for about an hour. Check them with the thermometer until their internal is about 165. Okay. And when they're ready, you can take them out and serve them. About an hour, ready to go. Yeah. And if you don't eat them all, pop them in a Ziploc bag and pop them in your freezer, and you're all set for a busy day when you haven't got something for supper. You can pop one out and warm it up. That helps, too. And I like the little, what did you do over here? You made a garden with the vegetables. We did. It's something to get the kids to eat more vegetables. It's just a little bit of um, hummus. You put it in the bottom of a dish, and that. then you make it look like a little garden. Okay. And it kind of brings spring to the touch. I love that idea. So if people have never been to Apple Hill, talk a little bit about that. Yep. We're at 580 Mountain Road in Concord. We're a seasonal business, so we're closed for winter, but we'll be starting with strawberries in June. All right. Diane Southwick, thank you very much. That does it for us.